Today I'll be working on my 2018 Indian Scout. I'm going to be upgrading the horn to this Denali uh, sound bomb, which is supposed to be ex exceptionally loud, but 120 decibels compared to the 100 decibels. I've got an attachment arm that I'm going to see about putting on, and they also have a wiring harness all from Denali. So we will get started on this and see where we end up. So what have I got so far? I had to actually remake this video, so I'm going to go over this a bit. But this was relatively easy to get on. There is a little rubber stopper that comes here with the bracket. There is a little screw that attaches right back behind here. That's you know it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too hard to get in here. Um, the Denali um, air pump uh, attaches onto the bracket here in the back with the little screw. I found it easier when I did this to put the air compressor on the bracket prior to putting on. Just seemed a little bit easier to get it all together. So hopefully that works out for you each. All right, started working on the wiring harness. So this is the seat for my Scout, taking it off here. And I've got the Denali wiring harness here. So I've got the two ends that lead to the um, OEM right here, OEM horn. And then I've got the leads for the sound bomb right here. So I'm planning on just running it through here and hiding it as best I can. And then we also down here have the um, attachment we need to make sure we get the power correct and then the leads to the battery and uh, power and positive and negative like right here so it looks pretty simple but I will let you know as I get in here but so it's kind of hard to see here but this is underneath the motorcycle and I'm looking at trying to get the leads off there's two for the speaker I'm gonna use a needle nose pliers to pry these off what I ended up doing is using a 10 millimeter socket uh, to get the speaker off. And then all you do is wiggle um, using a needle nose pliers to get the leads off. So that's what I'm working on now. A couple of things to think about as you're working on this. When you replace the horn, this is on a 2018 Indian Scout, make sure you look for the positive and negative. This is actually not labeled with a positive and negative, but it does have marked here. Um, I'm assuming that is going to be the positive going forward. The other thing, as you look at the wiring harness that was provided, this is clearly yellow and blue, um, and on the, which just goes to the OEM horn, as you can see, but in the directions, the OEM horn is red and blue, uh, just to note that. But then the instructions, it tells you uh, what to look for. Also, on the sound bomb, it says orange and black, which I can see here there's orange and black. But again, on the instructions, it looks like we've got yellow and black. But don't be discouraged in the instructions. It actually tells you that the OEM uh, leads to the... Uh, air compressor should be orange and black. So underneath the seat, I'm looking for a place to put the, the relay. It says to put it in an easy accessible spot. So in here, I've found these two, um, again, look like relay cap that it will connect to something in the future. There's plenty of space down in here. So I'm gonna take the relay and put it nice and snugly down in there. And then I will work on connecting up the, the leads to that. So here's what we got. This is the wiring harness coming in. I've got it tucked in and under there. I've got the negative on here. As you can see, this bolt comes out. It's on a 10 millimeter uh, hex nut, which is super easy to get out. It fit on really slick. And then we had a couple of options over here with the positive. Down here, it looked a little difficult to get that screw off to get it snugged in there. So what I did find is up here, we have this. Uh, already so I just added it on to the underneath the nut another, again another 10 millimeter nut and snug it up it looked real good so if you want to hear so nothing is really connected up much so far I've got all of the wires connected you can see this is from the OEM horn 
I've got the positive and negative on the air compressor here and I have a um, just the hose connected here so if we turn her on and we give the little horn a tweet you can hear it oh <laughs> you'll also find this uh, you need to take out the fuse so of course until I put the fuse back in there this will not work so hold on now the fuse is in so everything has got power everything is connected so now if we give the horn a squeeze, we can hear that the air compressor is working. And once we hook the horn up and hide all the cables, which I have a feeling is gonna take most of the time is getting everything uh, hidden. Once I have that done, I'll just kind of show everybody what I did to uh, hide those cables. Here's what I found. While trying to find a place to run the cables, this is the sp spot where the old horn used to be. And what I found was there's these two brackets like this being held on by uh, this nut here. So I just took it off. And then it got me thinking of something I saw in the instructions. This picture here. So I've actually taken one of the two brackets off attached it to the Denali here and as you can see this is actually going to fit really nice under here so that's where my horn's going to be basically in the same position the old one was we'll let you know how it goes all right let's do a recap of everything that we've got done so far so we got the wiring harness coming in through here. I found that it was best to run it up along underneath here, uh, back into there, and, and then I got it running behind this and coming in from behind, as you can see there. So if you look at it straight ahead, you don't see much there. The air compressor hose goes down there, through there between the radiator and the engine, as you can see right there. And it comes down and connects to the uh, horn, which is right there. As I mentioned earlier, there is this where the old, this is exactly where the old horn was um, attached using the uh, brackets I got from disconnecting the horn. And then I attached it here uh, to where this cover is for the radiator. So that's nice and snug in there. It's not moving. I got the air horn there. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Just got to get the seat back on and we should be good to go. So let's if you want to give it a test. Remember to put the fuse back in here or it won't work. It's also in part of the instructions. Uh, bikes on, horns here, and here we go.